Good Monday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Conversations with Any News. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Well, it's a brand new day. It's a brand new week, which means it's a brand new opportunity for you to do something amazing, and it all begins right now. We, of course, have your news headlines coming up on this Monday. We have the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Tegenovich. In today's entertainment spotlight, though, you'll be hearing part of my conversation with author Angel Davis, who's celebrating the release of her debut novel, Something Like Home. Enjoy today's program. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Service Webb with your Monday headlines in international news. Taliban says U.S. will provide humanitarian aid to Afghanistan. The U.S. has agreed to provide humanitarian aid to a desperately poor Afghanistan on the brink of an economic disaster while refusing to give political recognition to the country's new Taliban leaders, the Taliban said on Sunday. The statement came at the end of the first direct talks between the former foes since the chaotic withdrawal of U.S. troops at the end of August. There was no immediate comment from the U.S. on the weekend meeting. The Taliban said the talks held in Qatar went well, with Washington freeing up humanitarian aid to Afghanistan after agreeing not to link such assistance to formal recognition of the Taliban. The United States made it clear that the talks were in no way a preamble to recognition of the Taliban, who swept into power August 15th after the U.S. allied government collapsed. The Taliban spokesperson told the Associated Press that the movement's interim foreign minister assured the U.S. during the talks that the Taliban are committed to seeing that Afghan soil is not used by extremists to launch attacks against other countries. On Saturday, however, the Taliban ruled out cooperation with Washington on containing the increasingly active Islamic State group in Afghanistan. ISIS, an enemy of the Taliban, has claimed responsibility for a number of recent attacks, including Friday's suicide bombing that killed 46 minority Shiite Muslims. Washington considered ISIS its greatest terrorist threat emanating from Afghanistan. In national news, advocates and lawmakers push hospitals to help more with bills. Swamp with medical bills? The hospital that treated you may be able to help. Whether you learn about this before those bills wind up in debt collections is another matter. Medical bills often represent large unexpected shocks that can crash personal budgets. Roughly one in seven U.S. residents with a credit record has medical debt in collections, according to the nonprofit Urban Institute. Hospitals have ways to keep more people from joining those ranks. Those can include income-based discounts, payment plans, help finding health insurance, or waiving a bill and writing it off as a charity care. But people frequently miss notices in their bills about assistance or have trouble plowing through the paperwork to qualify, patient counselors say. They say hospitals need to do more to ensure patients know about available help. We need a whole new mindset, said Elizabeth Benjamin, a vice president with the Nonprofit Community Service Society of New York. A hospital is a charity should be figuring out why a patient isn't able to pay a bill. And more national news, toy makers race to get products on shelves amid supply clogs. Running out of time to get its products on store shelves ahead of the holidays, the Basic Fun Toy Company made an unprecedented decision. It's leaving one-third of its iconic Tonka Mighty dump trucks destined for the U.S. and China. Why? Given surging prices for shipping containers and clogs in the supply network, transportation costs to get the bulky yellow toy to U.S. soil is now 40% of the retail price, which is roughly $26. That's dramatically up from 7% a year ago. And it doesn't even include the cost of getting the product from U.S. ports to retailers. We've never left product behind in this way, said Jay Foreman, CEO of Basic Fun. We really had no choice. Toy companies are racing to get their products to retailers as they grapple with a severe supply network crunch that could mean sparse shelves for the holidays. They're trying to find containers to ship their goods while searching for alternative ports. Some are flying in some of the toys instead of shipping by boat to ensure delivery during December. And in cases like Basic Fun, they're leaving toys behind in China and waiting for costs to come down. In business news, Southwest Airlines cancels more than 1,000 weekend flights. Southwest Airlines canceled hundreds of flights over the weekend, blaming the woes on air traffic control issues and weather. The airline canceled more than 1,000 flights, or 28% of its schedule, as of 5 p.m. on Sunday, according to Flight Tracker FlightAware. That was the highest rate by far of the major U.S. airlines. Next in line were Allegiant and Sprint, which had respectively canceled 5% and 4% of their flights on Sunday, according to the flight tracker. 
And final entertainment news, Craig's final Bond movie takes $56 million at domestic box office. After over 18 months of pandemic delays, No Time to Die opened on Target. The final James Bond film of the Daniel Craig era grossed $56 million from 4,400 North American theaters, according to studio estimates on Sunday, to easily take the first place spot. It didn't break any pandemic or 007 records, but it didn't fall significantly short either, and is in fact the fourth best opening in the 25 film series. Cyrus Webb, Conversation Daily News. It's now time for the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Tagamich. Mary Ellen, take it away. Hi, this is Mary Ellen with your Truth of the Day. Choose to express feelings of love and care to others. You can create more depth and meaning in your relationships when you choose to express your love and care for others without expecting anything in return. It is always wonderful when our feelings of love and care are reciprocated and you will sabotage yourself if you make this a condition of why you are expressing your feelings to others. By choosing to shower your love freely, regardless of the responses you receive, you will feel fulfilled to freely express your emotions. And at the same time, you'll be encouraging others to open up to you. All of us must understand every loving word and gesture contributes positively to the healing of our society. Today, become able to express love, affection, and gratitude to other people. And remember, enjoy the day. Author Angel Davis has speaks to today's entertainment spotlight right here on Conversation Daily News. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with Entertainment Spotlight. Author Angel Davis joined me recently on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about what it's been like for her since the release of her debut novel, Something Like Home. Here's a bit of our conversation. Once again, congratulations on the release of Something Like Home. How does it feel to finally have the book available for the world to read? I'm speechless about how I feel. <laughs> I'm never at a loss for words. I always have something to say, but somehow I can't seem to find the words to describe, des- describe how I'm feeling at this moment. Yeah. Is writing something you've always wanted to do, Angel? Well, yeah. As a matter of fact, it's been a passion of mine. Um, since I was a little girl and I didn't start thinking about writing a novel or being an author until I was in my teens. Wow. And now here you are in 2021 with all the craziness that's going on in the world. (laughs) You've been able to release (laughs) a book. Um, you know, so I want to talk about something because you and I have had, had personal conversations, Angel, and I think it's important for our audience out there because unfortunately, even though I'm happy for you, I know you have people that are happy for you, not everybody believes in us, right? That's just the way the world works. Everybody, no matter who it is, whether it's, you know, us or Oprah. Everyone always has someone who will tell them what they can't do, what they're not doing right. How important has it been for you, Angel, in your journey and in your life to surround yourself with people who build you up instead of tear you down? Um, It's been my number one priority. I have no problem in cutting off whatever is distracting me from meeting my goal. I'm a very focused individual, and if it's something that I said I have to do, I'm going to do it regardless of what anyone has to say about it. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. We'll probably get on tomorrow with more news, Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Teganovich, and of course your entertainment spotlight. Until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Daily News today. Let's make it a great one.